My name is Embry, and this is the story of how I met my best friend, Hope. But before I tell you about that, you should probably know a little about me. I recently turned 14 years old. I've heard people say this is a tough age. You're going through a lot of changes, they say. This just kind of makes me laugh. I've been going through changes my whole life. I don't remember the first time I had to change where I went to sleep at night, and I brought my trash bag of clothes to change it to the next day when I woke up in this weird new place. But now I've become pretty familiar with how quickly my life can change. It still makes me angry sometimes, though. All this chaos it used to make me angry with myself the most. Sometimes I don't even want to eat. I felt uncertain about where I fit in. I sometimes thought maybe I didn't belong anywhere. And I felt that way for a long time. But then I met Hope, and she's my best friend, and I don't feel so bad anymore. I was only seven years old when my dad died from cancer, and that was nearly 10 years ago, and that was when I was placed in the foster care system. I never knew my biological mother, but I like to imagine she's just as beautiful as I am. Growing up without parents has been hard, and I've had some really incredible caretakers over the years, some that I felt really close to and that I've shared my feelings with. And in the various environments I've lived in throughout the years in the system, I have, for the most part, felt safe. But even in comfort, I still feel the pain of being marginalized by society. I'm not blind or oblivious to the people who assume that I have a predestined path in life, a path of sexual promiscuity or poor economic status or an education that is cut short of what I am capable of. I hear them talking. I'm aware of all these ignorant ideas. They have made me question my value as a woman, as a foster youth, and as a human being. But the truth is, I know I'm valuable. I don't have anything to prove to anybody who's ever doubted me. 